Hey everyone, Mirai here, and welcome to part two of this multi-boxing gameplay video guide. In the last video, I showed the absolute basics on how to begin multi-boxing, and in this video, I'm going to cover some useful stuff that the Iceboxer Wizard sets up for you by default. When you want to swap between your characters on the fly, the simplest way to go about this is to just click on the window that you want to change to but you can also assign a swap hotkey to each of your windows if you'd like. This option is found under each slot of your character set, and there is already a default key combination that's set up for you. By holding down both Control and Alt, and then pressing the slot number, you will focus that character. Now these swap hotkeys are configurable, so feel free to change these to any key combination that you feel comfortable with. As for the global option, if this is enabled, then the key combination that is currently set here will work regardless of whether or not the game window is in focus. So if you've enabled the global option and you're doing something in your internet browser, when you hit your swap hotkey, it will then swap over to that game client. Another quick way to swap around your game windows is to set a hotkey for the next window and previous window mapped keys found under the always on key map. Now both of these do exactly what they sound like they do. So if you were playing your second character and hit the hotkey for next window, you would then move to your third character. Likewise, if you hit the hotkey for previous window, you would then move back to your second character. There are even more ways to go about swapping between characters and windows, but these are the two simplest methods and they should hopefully get you started. When playing solo, you rarely ever think twice about overcoming small objects such as rocks or fences or whatever else. But now you have to remember you have other characters behind you that are on follow and they're likely to get stuck on everything. To help remedy this, the wizard creates an others jump mapped key in the non-combat key map, but you'll need to set a hotkey for it in order to use it. And as you can see, I already have. This mapped key makes your slave characters and only your slave characters jump when you press it. So now when they're stuck on a railing or a rock or a fence or any other object, you can quickly get them unstuck. And not only that, but this mapped key also comes in handy when you want to do some sweet jumps to impress your fellow YouTube viewers. The Quick Setup Wizard creates five mapped keys in the non-combat key map that deal with character movement. The Others Turn Left and Others Turn Right mapped keys are pretty self-explanatory, but they'll make your other characters in your party either turn left or turn right. As for the formations, you've got the Star Formation, the Line Formation, and the Flying V Formation. Now there's two different ways to use these formations. You can either just set a hotkey for each of these right here in Ice Boxer, or in game, you can press Control Shift Alt F to bring up the formations menu. From here, you can just click and hold your left mouse button down on any of the menu buttons in order to put your characters into formation. Now, formations are pretty much just used to show off for taking screenshots or looking cool, but they can come in handy if you need to spread out your team during a PvE fight. And they, as well as the others turn left and others turn right mapped keys, can also be used as a crude method for breaking follow on your characters when you want to leave them behind. Unfortunately, you can't move around in any type of formation for the same reason that I explained in the prior video, and a drawback for some players is they were designed to work specifically with a five-man team. So if you're running a different amount of characters in your party or raid, then I suggest taking a look at how the map keys are set up and then attempting to modify it yourself to suit your needs. I will also mention that these formations are dependent on the movement keys that are defined under ISBoxer's variable keystrokes. So if they're not working, or you use a different set of movement keys besides the standard WASD, then you may need to adjust what they're set to by default. In the first video, I showed how to go about interacting with an NPC by pulling up alongside of them, turning on mouse repeater, and then clicking on them to bring up the dialogue pane. And this is exactly how multiboxers have been doing it for years. That is, until developers began adding interact commands into their games. 
Now this command works a bit differently depending on the game that you're playing, and while most mainstream MMOs currently have an interact command, not every game does. Typically the interact command is used when looting and interacting with an NPC so that you no longer have to worry about things like swapping screens to pick up loot after each kill or lining up your camera angles on each character to ensure they're all going to click on the NPC correctly. But in some games, like World of Warcraft, it can also be used for melee combat, which will be covered in a later video. Now there is an entirely separate set of videos which go into a much more in-depth explanation about interact with target specifically for World of Warcraft, and even some of the quick setup wizard videos by Lax for other games also mention the interact command. So while this is going to be an incredibly quick overview for how to set this up in Boxer, I urge you to check the description of this video for more links about this if you're having trouble. So first, you need to set a key binding in-game for interact with target. In World of Warcraft, this is not set by default. Some games require you to create an interact macro, place the macro on your action bar, and assign a key binding to it, but regardless of how it's done, the interact command will need a key binding if it exists within the game you're playing. After that, you need to tell Iceboxer what that key binding is under the interact with target variable keystroke. Then, give the mapped key for interact with target, located in the non-combat key map, a hotkey that you are comfortable pressing on a regular basis. And finally, export your settings to Innerspace, and you should be good to go. Now, rather than having to mess around with mouse repeater to start up a conversation with an NPC, you can just click on the NPC with your main, press your assist hotkey, and then press your interact with target hotkey. If everything is set up correctly, your characters will interact with that NPC. Just know that you will still have to enable mouse repeater to navigate through the dialogue panes. I mentioned in the first video that the quick setup wizard in IS Boxer will set up one through equals on your keyboard's number row to automatically broadcast to each of your characters. Now, I think it's safe to assume that most players will eventually want to branch off from those default keys, and the easiest way to make this happen is to use Iceboxer's Mapped Key Wizard. First, you'll need to choose a key map that you'd like to add new mapped keys to, and I'd recommend any of them except for Always On. Then, you'll need to choose what type of mapped keys you'd like to create. When expanding upon the default key bindings of 1 through equals, you'd likely choose either the straight key broadcast or assist in broadcast options depending on the game you're playing. And finally, begin adding the other keys that you would like to use by clicking in the top section here and then pressing the keys on your keyboard or the buttons on your mouse. If you need to change the target of these keys or when they're activated, you can do so below, but when you're done, hit finish and remember to export your settings to Innerspace. If you need further assistance with mapped keys and the mapped key wizard, there is a separate video which goes into more detail. Check the description for a link. Now, if you've chosen to use the green menu overlay, this method will still work for you. But if you want to specifically create another row of menu buttons, then again, please check the video description for other existing menu videos that will show you how to do that. Well, that's it for this video. And in the next video, I will be covering a handful of tips that deal with questing while multiboxing. Thanks for watching, guys. Mirai out.